in this paper we will discuss about a new approach for doing collaborative filtering so let's first look at an example so imagine you are an e-commerce website or a recommendation website where you have certain users and you have certain items which you want to recommend to your users so what generally happens in these scenarios is that certain users they rate a lot of items but then there are certain other users which rate some items and they rate some items very heavily so for example green over here is like high rating red over here is like low rating and uh, all the cost over here is like uh, medium rating so for example there are certain users which are rating almost everything but there are certain other users which are rating certain items but then leaving certain other items so for example what happens because of this that you have a sparse matrix where you don't have information about everything so we will look into a technique which is proposed to handle this kind of data or do recommendations on this kind of data so in recommendation engine there are a lot of collaborating filtering techniques which are generally uh, matrix decomposition or matrix factorization based techniques which are proposed lately uh, which do uh, very well on recommendation systems but deep learning has shown promising results uh, recently so this paper is about looking into how deep learning can potentially improve the recommendation results okay so uh, essentially the idea is that uh, this paper produces proposes this auto rec method which is a new collaborative uh, collaborating filtering method which uses uh, uh, auto encoders model essentially uh, and they also demonstrated that uh, their method is able to surpass the state of the art techniques by a large margin so essentially the idea is that as i've shown before you have a user and item rating matrix and for each uh, user you have different ratings so for example each user has given ratings to certain items as i've shown over here and similarly you can imagine that each item will have certain ratings given from different users so here we are looking into two kinds of approaches so first of all we can see that if we try to auto generate or uh, generate item item recommendation or item item matrix or if we try to generate user user matrix and see which is giving better results so essentially here they are trying to reduce uh, squared error matrix as one of their loss functions so essentially this is the design so here we have for a given item we have different ratings and here we have an auto encoder model in between which is trying to uh, do a dimensional reduction over the number of parameters over here so for example here you can imagine each item may will may have like millions of users or it may have received ratings for only a certain number of users and what we are trying to do over here we are trying to regenerate this matrix or we are trying to regenerate this row uh, the other thing which we also need to look into is let's okay we are using the squared function but we cannot uh, use all the variables over here because only a certain number of variables are actually observed uh, a rest are like partially observed so here in the loss function you can see they are computing this squared error only over those ratings where we have uh, observation and then they are doing some sort of regularization also over the two metrics which we are using for the projection uh, over here okay so this is the loss function this is the core idea of the paper then they are doing certain experiments essentially looking at uh, how this model which they have proposed is compared against uh, the traditional methods like bias matrix factorization and local row rank matrix factorization uh, and they are reporting several metrics things like root mean squared error on different values of parameters now if you look at table 1a you can see that their method of item to item collaborative filtering using auto encoders is able to beat all the previous benchmark by a large margin and the other method of user to user collaborative filtering is not able to beat the benchmark so the, what they are saying is that item to item collaborative filtering is much more powerful compared to user to, to user to user or collaborative filtering one reason could be um, the sparsity at a user level uh, uh, model is much severe than compared to an item level model also they looked into uh, different choices of uh, the activation functions so for example over here 
uh, they have looked into if the they use identity or sigmoid as an activation function for the f uh, activation and for the g function uh, and they have shown that sigmoid is able to perform preferably better compared to all the other benchmarks so they have did some analysis on different data sets so they did this analysis on a movie lens 1 million data set movie lens 10 million data sets and netflix data sets uh, and over here they have shown that how on different data sets their their technique is able to beat the benchmark also they have given a couple of uh, follow-up questions so things like which is better item or user label auto encoding so over here uh, as you all can also see in the table item label auto encoder method is able to perform better uh, one reason being that user label data is much more sparse compared to item label data uh, then they have also shown that how is auto encoder method working compared to linear activation or non-linear activation so over here they have shown that uh, non-linear non activation is able to perform slightly better uh, in terms of uh, uh, against all the other baselines as we have already seen that with uh, uh, all the other baselines on different uh, uh, methods and different test sets uh, we, can, we can see that their method is able to perform different baselines so this is the paper about using uh, auto uh, auto encoders to do the collaborative filtering or designing recommendation systems if you like this kinds of videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, comment uh, in case you like this video and uh, uh, keep keep watching for more upcoming videos thanks a lot